It is no surprise that international support for Ukraine continues to grow following the invasion by Russia. After Russia invaded Ukraine, experts from every sector started getting worried about worse cases. For example, cybersecurity experts started answering if a global cyber war is about to unfold. The crypto money industry did not remain idle either. Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange by volume, has announced a $10 million donation to Ukraine. Also launching an emergency fund for the affected country. On his Twitter account, CEO CZ noted, our focus is providing on the ground support. We care about the people. Related reading cryptocurrency prices soar on possibility of Russia-Ukraine talks the CEO of Chain. Com, Deepak Topliao, has donated 100 EDH, approximately $278, to help fund the cause. White commenting to BuzzFeed News, Deepak Topliao said, When I realized the Ukrainian government had requested donations in the form of crypto, I felt compelled to do my part to help. Crypto donations are borderless and near instant. So I hope that the government there can tap into it as soon as possible to help the people in need. Vitalik Buterin, founder and inventor of Ethereum, expressed his support for Ukraine. He used the words victory for Ukraine in a recent post on Twitter. Ukraine is a hotbed of blockchain innovation. The country's embrace of cryptocurrencies has made it one of the few places where you can legally trade Bitcoin or other digital currencies without fear from taxes and with their low-cost currency exchange rates combined with an abundance of talented engineers specializing in security protocols Rela. Just days after Russia occupations Ukraine, the country's official Twitter account asked for donations through cryptocurrency. Vice Prime Minister of Ukraine, Mihailo Fedorov, has confirmed that the call for donations was real. He asked people to stand with Ukraine. As the crisis in Ukraine continues to grow, it is becoming clear that Russia has invaded to install a puppet government. The Russian troops have already entered Kiev, which put the democratically elected government at risk. This could result in less freedom for its citizens than ever before.